Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Master Duel video. I'm still waiting for the new packs, but don't worry, there's things I want to talk about still related to Master Duel. Uh, this one uh, is going to be very obvious why I want to talk about this, especially if you saw me have basically a mental breakdown on Twitter as I tried to figure out what was going on. These new missions really, really suck. So, um... I want to talk about them. I'm going to show some games to show just the terrible time I had with one of these. Um, so yeah, it's going to be the video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like. Comment down below. Tell me how you feel about these missions. Maybe you're someone who's like, I like these missions because I didn't do the stacking thing with the last one. So if you don't know, the, the real reason they changed this is that people, some people figured out that if you didn't accept them, um, you wouldn't get these uh, missions again. And because they were different gem prizes for all of them, what most people did, at least most people who knew, I guess I actually don't know the number of it, but I'm going to guess a decent amount that made them change it from uh, the, the thing, the way it was. But basically you wouldn't do any of them until you had the, 50, the 250 mission and the 30 mission, and that would give you 135 gems a day because of the live view thing, watching. Okay. Um... And the missions themselves were decent enough. The only mission I ever had a real problem with was win and ranked. Because if you were in platinum, it actually kind of drove you away from ever playing uh, any deck that just couldn't stand <laughs> in platinum. Otherwise, you'd just be standing there uh, constantly trying to finish your dailies. And if you're already, like, not... If you're... I know it's weird to think about, but if you don't really have a deck that you want to like badly play with, then just doing your dailies, playing some games, and logging off I think is a valid way to play a game. These missions make that a living hell. <laughs> so here's the the one that drove me insane was inflict damage on your opponent in rank duel. Um, in theory, not a bad not a bad mission at all. Uh, the amount you need to deal is, I think, 15,000, so let's say you deal 8,000, so in theory, if you just whittle down your opponent's life points twice, then hey, boom, you win, and you finish the mission. Easy, right? The problem is, is that this mission completely disregards, um, the kind of deck you're playing. Like, for example, let's say you're playing Exodia. Well, congratulations, as long as you're playing Exodia, you can't finish this you can't finish this daily at all if you're someone who's um playing another deck like a uh, neck the necro shade one the one where you use inferno tempest and then you mill the deck like very interesting way to win you can't play that deck if you're trying to win this daily because you're dealing damage to yourself so it's not very conductive to the type of decks that really kind of go there. And I have to say this with a lot of certainty because I'm going to show you the proof of it. A lot of people will just kind of surrender instead of sitting there and watching you deal damage to them. I really think that the fact that they surrender and you can't attack them and deal damage is incredibly stupid in, for <laughs> in foresight of why would they include a daily in which you have to actively inflict damage. <laughs> Next, this one's also bad, but not as bad. Declare an attack onto a monster in rank duel. Um, these are the two, I think, worst ones I've dealt with so far, but I'm not sure if they're actually the worst. The reason this one's bad is that um, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game in which, like I said, if you're running a deck like the Necroshade, well, not the Necroshade one, but Exodia, you're never attacking. So as long as you're running the Exodia deck, you can never finish this, uh, this, uh, this mission, this daily. Uh, the other problem is, is that if you are running a deck that just straight up, like, um, removes the enemy's entire field, you have to attack a monster in order for it to count. So as long as you're attacking nothing and you're attacking directly, which is what the game wants you to do, Yu-Gi-Oh! was built around destroying the entire enemy field. Or let's say you're playing Rongo Miniad. They have no field. They can't play a monster. They can maybe at once set one monster. You could have, in theory, five monsters to attack with, but since none of them are attacking a monster, it doesn't count. Like, there's a certain, like, uh, dumbness to the way these things are structured, as if people are playing in... Like, it's not just in where I'm playing, because I'm playing in gold. This has to be, like, tough to get even in the lower ranks, just because you some decks just don't do any of this. And I actually had a problem with similar... Um, 
missions back in the day where it's like uh the, before these where it was like use a trap card five times it's like well this deck doesn't use any trap cards so it's either going to be borderline impossible for me to actually finish it or it's going to be it's going to take me a lot of games to actually get it done so i wanted to show off some proof just to show off the extremely bad time i think my entire record wasn't saved i started gold five i'm now gold three I wanted to stay as low in gold as possible for when the new pack came out. So this is the the last one that it was recorded on me when I started playing, which was on 4-1. This was at 13-21-41. This is the last game in which I was able to actually finish what I wanted to do, which was on 4-1-2022, 17-13-30, almost four hours later. Almost like three hours and some change. Um, that's ridiculous. I'm just sitting here, and then this is all to just into real deck damage. So let me just show. I may as well show the wins because I win them. Just to show what I mean, because some of these games were just like, and also some of these wins were just against like DD Dynamite decks. And what do I do? Those decks are bots, and they don't let you attack directly. So. I was running this deck because of all the decks that I have, this was the only deck I had that uh, actually won by attacking directly. When I tried to use another deck, it just wasn't working out at all because the other decks that people were running were completely destroying me. <laughs> I think this is actually one of the very few games where I'm actually able to directly deal 8,000 damage. But let me see, just to be sure. So yeah. May as well see this. I'm playing uh, these dudes uh, for now. I'm playing. I was trying to play some True Draco until the new packs came out and I could make a new deck and do all that stuff. But uh, mainly because I really like True Draco, and they also it seems like the people who fight True Draco don't like fighting True Draco. So I have a lot of fun. That's why I like it. I have no idea what they were doing there. I felt bad. I, oh, I kind of kind of feel bad for this Harpy Leader player. But there you go. Twenty seven hundred damage done so far now I'm doing this I'm destroying the field attack okay we're good here this guy was good he was just like you can deal all this damage I'm fine with it I'm not salty and I thank him because if it was not for him I don't think I'd be able to get as much this next game only lasted two turns so now you have to remember I've dealt oh, sometime over 8,000 so in theory all I need to do is attack directly with enough monsters while they have full 8,000 life points and the mission is done. Like, easy, right? In theory, I could do it right here. So, I play the game. They Ash Blossom me, sure. That's just what happens to you. Perfectly acceptable. I accept it. I put some stuff face down. He hits me with the max C. It doesn't matter because I'm playing Drew Draco and for some reason, their special summon counts as a normal summon, so it's actively worthless to use that card against them. They scoop. Can't do anything. Next. <laughs> so again, all I need is another attack directly. <laughs> I just need to attack enough times to deal damage. That's all I need. And I wasn't even really playing any mead floodgates in that turn like they weren't really fighting anything they just decided to give up this this game i play my cards all right for sure i think some of it is like i don't want to play against floodgates which is fine but at the same time when you're about to lose you just may as well do it so here it is all i need to do is attack directly and everything's fine i think this is a blue eyes player because of the the sleeves yes it is in fact a blue eyes player and I was actually really hoping that the blue eyes player would be like a good sport and let me hit hit them in the face. But they they were not. I don't think so. So he's gonna summon his blue eyes alternative, his playhouse chaos max by dragon, nobody cares. You know, blue eyes players doing their absolute best to summon a four thousand monster that can kinda easily be destroyed. <laughs> but whatever, it's their play. It's what they can do. Give them a break. Sometimes it works. I use skill drain because I know that they're going to use the ritual summon. They're still in a very good place though. There's no denying the goodness of what's going on here. I get my monster back. I do that. I'm able to destroy. I use this. Draw three cards. Everyone's having a happy time. 
And then I think this is around the time he decides to summon Hope Harbinger. So he is an asshole because he's also playing a card that just is a full negate that can happen all the time. So I don't feel bad about negating his effects. Not at all. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game about everyone being an asshole. It's fair. Chaos Max Dragon. He's going to play this guy. Can't be destroyed by effects. But of course his effects are negated so it doesn't matter. And then I get to add that to my hand. And I'm thinking like this is real easy. All I need to do is this. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to be able to just like easy win, right? And I get rid of that. It's a lightning storm. Gives up. I could have had it done right there. Nope. Couldn't do it. Next. This one only lasts one turn, which makes me think one thing. It is another DD Dynamite deck, I think. Let me see. It's either a DD Dynamite deck or that other, the Cyberstein OTK. Alright, this time I'm like, whatever, I've lost a couple games, but it's fine. I'm here, I'm ready. I could not attack. Drew a terrible hand. Couldn't do anything. Thanks, Tom. Next. Uh, we have this player here. Uh, it's just like, I think I, I've, I'm obviously have made my point here, but it's actually just so insanely difficult, just the time I had. Because like I said, people will just surrender on you, and I don't blame them. I've done it. I'm not blaming people for surrendering. I'm blaming Konami for making these stupid missions and building them in such a way that it's like, this is just dumb. What are you doing? There you go, I saw my two, I'm a happy boy. Sky Striker, hang it up. I think if I remember correctly, this is a... I actually don't remember what type of deck this is. Oh no, it is straight up just a Sky Striker, I think. So they try it, I'm like, whatever. True Draco. Boom, blow up. Some of my Draco. That's right, it's a Numeron Network Sky Striker deck. This guy has <laughs> this guy's run new runs Numeron Network has no idea what my my effect does. Has no idea what trouble he's, he's about to run into. And I also get my stuff here, because I know I can stop the Numerons, but I can't stop the guy that gets summoned after the Numerons. The XYZ monster. He drew in Lockbirds for some reason. I guess it was too late, but he's like, I may as well stop it now. And he stops attacking, because he realizes I can't OTK this turn. Yeah, sure, fair enough. Boom, attack. No one cares. It's all good. Then I summon my guy. Get my true Draco Apocalypse. I'm in a pretty good mood, because again, all I need to do is attack directly, which is a little bit. Yeah, he's lost a lot of life points, but it's fine. And then... He infinite... He, I don't know why he does this. This is the funniest thing ever, because I'm pretty sure he didn't know this, but if you infinite inheritance a... True Draco, who has not used his effect, <laughs> you can just use his effect, which is why you wait till after they use their effect to actually use it. So it was kind of a lost cause there, and I think at this point he just gives up. No, he doesn't. The first he waits for that. I haven't really drawn anything. I'm just looking for a monster. It's all I want. All I want is a monster. Finally, I have my monster. So I'm like, I'll destroy something, whatever. And then I'll get to destroy his stupid Numeron and I can attack directly. He was going to lose this turn anyway. Attack directly. He scooped! He scoops right before the fucking attack. Was it too much? Did I press the advantage by literally just destroying it? There was no way he was going to win that turn. He should have known that. This guy, let me see, just to confirm his deck. It's easier for me to look at. Okay, no. He was not. Okay. Slow bro. Turn one though. Gives up turn one. I was thinking maybe this is a DD Dynamite player, but not all of them are. Some of them are. Some of them are just dudes who draw bad. And they draw really bad. Well, let me see. So I draw not the greatest hand. I actually prefer it when I have the trap card laying True Draco. I think he's a better... He's the best of the True Dracos. So start off, doesn't matter. Don't get to do anything. This guy just doesn't want it. Slow bro. It's like, whatever, bro. Don't want it. John Boom has to 100% be, yes, he is a DD Dynamite deck, so I just auto win that one, never get to attack directly. This guy, I had a, oh, I remember, right? I had a terrible, that's when I lost internet to my house. <laughs> it was a terrible game, I lost that one, and I deserved to lose it for the internet loss, so that's fine. 
But I lost my internet, and then th that was so bad that I had to go in here like this. Then I go back in here. Go here. Match history. Um, John Boom here. Oh, this guy went in two turns. What is his deck? I have no idea what- I remember what this deck is. I'm gonna show it just because it's funny, but just to show you, at this point I think I realized I have to stop playing this deck. Because this deck is um, frustrating the people, and I have to win, because the only way I can really attack, attack uh, and inflict damage is to just attack. At some point I realized the easiest thing I could have done is to try and go for the FTK, but the way people were acting, it made me feel like no matter what I tried to do, I was never going to be able to get the FTK off, because that's the other problem with Pendulums, is that yeah, they can deal 8,000 damage in one turn, but the opponent surrenders before you do it. It's very rare that an opponent actually lets you do the full 8,000. So I hit him with that Vanity's Emptiness, and you'll see right now why he decides to just quit. So yeah, at this point, I'm like, I have to stop playing this deck, because this deck is making people angry. And because he can't special summon, he can just keep using Thunderbird. But then he eventually selects Thunderbird, he could have destroyed a set card, realizes it's not set, and he just scoops, and it's like, it's over. So he doesn't even want any of it. So this guy is, uh, do you think, another DD Dynamite? No, this is the Cyberstein bot deck. I should really report some of these bots, but I don't know if it actually helps. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it doesn't confirm opponent's attack. This was against this. Okay, this game. This is the game that it made me realize I know how to. I know how to finish this mission now. Because the other problem I was having is that I was at. The, I think at this point when I looked at it, I basically needed 550. I just needed to deal 550 damage and I would be good. Um, just like no one was letting me deal that much damage at all. No one would. But I think in this game I realize I know how to win. Uh, how to finally finish the mission. And it's uh, with the monkey, because you can see this person here, um, they have absolutely zero idea that the monarch stops effects and he keeps using his effects for some reason. I don't fully understand why. He ash blossoms me, but it's fine. I don't care. He can do it. So he does that. And you think at some point, the, the way this guy plays, I understand that not everyone can read every card, but this guy's having multiple effects negated. He has to know that his effects negated, right? Doesn't matter, he gives up. But I see the monkey and I realize I know what I have to do now. I have to attack directly. And I have to attack directly with my monkey. And I think this is the final game, so I may as well show it. Um, because this is the game where I can finally attack directly with something and win and because no matter what as long as the monkey attacks so i specifically run i quickly build a zodiac um tri brigade deck because i just had those parts laying around i was actually debating for a long time playing it but i actually i don't actually like playing them very much i think they're not boring's not the right word i just don't like playing them um I do like the Zodiacs, though. I like the idea of Zodiacs. But I want to run a full Zodiac deck, but it's not possible with most of their good... The be the, their best cards being fully banned, so... Or, like, Drayton being limited to, um... One. So, yeah. Here's this game. This Blue Eyes player, by the way... I don't want to make fun of anyone. But th this guy had... He hits me with Magic Jim. <laughs> And at this point, I realize after playing over for three hours trying to get this stupid mission done, I realize I think God is testing me. Because there's no way that someone could, one, activate a Magic Jammer and actually successfully pull it off. And it for it to be a good play, because that play right there screws me over for this turn. Because Max C actually really screws me over. So I think it was a Magic Cylinder moment where everyone kind of acknowledges Magic Cylinder is bad. Um, and then he hits me with this! <laughs> so... I was so pissed because he hits it, he destroys it, and I think, attack to the 1200, I'm good. I have a Zodiac, I'm not going to summon my monkey though, because I don't need to attack directly. And then he fucking does this, and I was pissed. I was unbelievably angry, tormenting it, just like, oh my god, something, man. Thankfully he destroys him and I get to add a card to my hand, and I'm like, okay. 
And I think I realize I'm not playing around. I used Twin Twister on that. It's a fucking Forbidden Droplet, which would have stopped my monkey. But then he uses that card to bring it back, and I'm like, oh my god, that's bad, but it's okay because it's a quick effect. He can't use it the turn it's set. So I'm solid here. I'm thinking about playing my big ones, but I'm like, fuck it. I just need to attack with monkey. And I'm good. And I think this is what my strategy is going to be basically going forward anytime this mission comes back in a month. Is that I'm just going to play with Borbo and attack directly. Then I got to summon Zeus. And most people would give up here. I will give it to this guy. He did not give up. Every play, I basically had him. There was no way for him to win. There was zero way for him to win. Actually, actively zero. And he still gave it socks. So I'll give it to him. And I finished him off like this. Because it was the only right way of ending it. And yeah, I think that's the end of the video as well. I just needed a way to kind of cope. But as you can see here, in a perfect world, I would have had those two games back to back. But these missions don't actually take into play how people play, I guess, deeper in. Uh, there's definitely certain people that just won't surrender, but I'm not getting them. And I don't feel like I'll ever get those people, especially early on when the season resets. Maybe this would have been much easier if um, I had gotten this quest later on. But I don't know. That's how I'm feeling on this one, man. I think it's nice that they actually, like, I don't care about the loss of gems, because we do lose more gems doing it this way. Um, that's fine with me. As long as the dailies are dailies, it's fine. Like, um, the thing I have a problem with is when they dailies take too long and actively prevent you from playing certain types of decks. At that point, I think it doesn't make sense to play them. Uh, if this was in N slash R, by the way, a lot of these problems would be solved. But for some reason, they've decided to keep it just rank duel. Just rank duel. It's insane to me that this isn't just rank slash um, exhibition. It seems extremely stupid to me, but whatever. That's the end of the, the video, everyone. And very rarely do I ever have real complaints about Master Duel. Like, I'm someone... Like, even with the pack stuff, I'm just like, oh, I'll wait. It's fine with me. I want to play with other stuff. I'm not someone who's, like, angry about that. Yeah, the bots suck, but I'm not, like so angry that I'm like oh well because all I do is just like deal with it for DD Dynamite it's an easy stop um, just run 13 cards and I'm fine with that and if I lose because I didn't have those two extra cards in my link um, I didn't have those two extra cards in my extra deck then it's whatever uh, against the Cyberstein one it's certainly a problem because you have to just play first or be very lucky and start with an Ash Blossom in your hand and just like wait out the clock and sometimes I'm not that lucky um, but either way, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for listening, especially if you made it all the way at the end. I'll see you guys next time. And God, I hope your luck is better than mine. 9998! Nine, 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 Almost there. The day of promise is almost here. Goodbye, everyone.